A CDC advisory committee made it clear today who should be at the starting line to receive the H1N1 vaccine. They include pregnant women, those in contact with babies, children and young people, health care workers and emergency personnel, and adults with underlying conditions. Combined, that's potentially 140 million Americans who will be covered against a virus some are estimating may hit 40 percent of the U.S. population. This is a situation of supply and demand and making sure that we can have a, a vaccine go where it's needed most. There's new evidence pregnant women have a much higher risk of severe complications and death from H1N1 because their immune systems are suppressed. A study released today found pregnant women are four times as likely to be hospitalized. About 6% of the deaths have been among pregnant women, but that's not proportion, that's a larger proportion than you'd expect, given that only about 1% of the population, U.S. population is pregnant at any one point in time. Each of the pregnant women in the study who died first developed pneumonia, just like 27-year-old Katie Flight, who was six months pregnant when she got this new flu, forcing doctors to deliver her baby prematurely. While newborn Abby is thriving, Flight's heart, lungs, and kidneys are failing. She's got a long way to go, and this is just a beginning. Research centers across the country are looking for thousands of healthy volunteers to test the new flu vaccine. The clinical trials are set to begin mid-August. Adults will be tested first, followed by the elderly. If proven safe, it will then be tested in babies and children. The vaccine is being fast-tracked as experts worry about a back-to-school resurgence of both H1N1 and the seasonal flu. We'll see commingling of two different uh, flus this season. It'll be like a bad seasonal flu, and we have to worry about high-risk groups. How to treat sick kids now is also a concern, as H1N1 has been sweeping through summer camps. While many children were given the medication Tamiflu to prevent influenza, experts warn it should be prescribed cautiously. We're going to induce resistance against Tamiflu, and then we're going to run out of one of our weapons against this flu. Experts agree pregnant women should be given antiviral treatment immediately and not wait for test results. Medication is most effective when taken within the first 48 hours of flu symptoms. Katie. So, Jennifer, the notion of giving Tamiflu to a larger population of healthy people to prevent the spread of this H1N1 virus is still, as we saw in your piece, quite controversial. Right. People are still talking about it, Katie, but to be clear, Tamiflu should be only given for prevention or treatment of the virus under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They don't want the virus to develop resistance, and it's not a substitute for vaccination. It's part of our antiviral arsenal. All right. Jennifer Ashton, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you.